वेलकम टू कॉम्रेड मीडिया एवरी डे इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अनदर डे एवरी हाउ इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अनदर हाउ सो लेट इस लुक एट व्हाट इज द स्पेशलिटी व्हाट इज द इंपोर्टेंस ऑफ टुडे Hiroshima Day is observed every year on August 6th. The day aims at raising awareness about the devastating power of the atomic bomb which was dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki ending the Second World War. In the scripture now I am become death the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. On August 6, 1945, an atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima in Japan by an American B29 bomber. killing nearly 80,000 people instantly while tens of thousands died later due to the radiation exposure 3 days later a second B29 dropped an atomic bomb on Nagasaki killing another 40,000 people these bombings on the two japanese cities were the first time that the atomic bomb was used The nuclear bombings on Japan forced the country on August 15, 1945 to announce that it was surrendering unconditionally during the Second World War. During the war, Japan was part of the Axis group which included Nazi Germany and the Kingdom of Italy along with other small and significant regions. On the morning of August 6, 1945, an American B29 bomber dropped an atomic bomb called Little Boy with a force of 12 to 15 kilotons of TNT on Hiroshima. The city was the manufacturing hub of more than 3 lakh 50,000 people and about 500 miles from Tokyo. The blast destroyed 500 square miles of the city immediately. The bomb was dropped by an American plane by parachute in the morning of 8:15 and exploded 2000 feet above the city. That day it was the first time when most industrial workers had reported to work and were in transit. Children were also en route to school and some had even arrived. What happened in Nagasaki? Even after the devastation that took place in Hiroshima due to the atomic bombing, Japan did not surrender from the Second World War. 3 days later on August 9, 1945, the United States sent another B29 to the primary target of the city of Kokura. However, thick clouds over the city prevented the pilot from dropping the atomic bomb, so he flew to the secondary target Nagasaki. which was nestled between the mountains the pilot dropped fat man over the city at 11:02 am the plutonium bomb was even powerful than the one dropped on hiroshima 3 days earlier bomb produced 122 kiloton blast why hiroshima was chosen for bombing during the second world war japanese fighters who were in alliance with germany deployed the kamikaze tactics and pilots undertook suicide missions to hit the us warships directly in order to prevent more damage from such attacks and to force japan to back down The then president of the US Harry Truman authorized the use of the devastating nuclear weapon. Hiroshima in Japan was chosen because the US not just wanted to force Japan to back down but also planned to end its ability to fight wars. The seventh largest city of Japan then served as headquarters of the second army and also had strategic military supply depots. On August 15, 1945 
Six days after the Hiroshima bombings, Emperor Hirohito announced the surrender in a radio broadcast and the formal agreement was signed on September 2. As most of the infrastructure from Hiroshima and Nagasaki were wiped out, the actual number of deaths because of the atomic bombings are still unknown. Some witnesses. Pilot Paul Tippetts. We turned back to look at Hiroshima. The city was hidden by that awful cloud, boiling up, mushrooming, terrible and incredibly tall. No one spoke for a moment, then everyone was talking. I remember co-pilot Robert Lewis pounding my shoulder saying, look at that, look at that, look at that. Tom Ferry be wondered about whether radioactivity would make us all sterile. Lewis said he could taste atomic fission. He said it tasted like lead. Navigator Theodore Van Kirk. He recalled the shock verse from the explosion. It was very much as if you US ever sat on an ash can and had somebody hit it with a baseball bat. The plane bounced, it jumped and there was a noise like a piece of sheet metal snapping. Those of us who had flown quite a bit over Europe thought that it was anti-aircraft fire that had exploded very close to the plane. On viewing the atomic fireball, I don't believe anyone ever expected to look at a site quite like that. Where we had seen a clear city two minutes before, we could see the city no longer. We could see smoke and fire creeping up the sides of the mountains. Tail Gunner Robert Caron The mushroom itself was a spectacular sight, a bubbling mass of purple-grey smoke and you could see it had a red core in it and everything was burning inside. As we got farther away, we could see the base of the mushroom and below we could see what looked like a few hundred foot layer of debris and smoke and what have you. I saw fire springing up in different places, like flames shooting up on a bed of coals. Six miles below the crew of Enola Gay, the people of Hiroshima were waking up and preparing for their daily routines. It was 8.16 am. Up to that point, the city had been largely spared by the rain of conventional air bombing that had ravaged many other Japanese cities. Just an hour before this terrible incident, air raid sirens had sounded as a single B-29, the weather plane for the little boy mission approached Hiroshima. A radio broadcast announced the sighting of the Inola Gay soon after 8 a.m. The city of Hiroshima was annihilated by the explosion. 70,000 of the 76,000 buildings were damaged or destroyed and 48,000 of those were entirely razed. Survivors recalled the indescribable and incredible experience of seeing that the city had ceased to exist. Those who were close to the epicenter of the explosion were simply vaporized by the intensity of the heat. One man left only a dark shadow on the steps of a bank as he sat. Many others in Hiroshima, farther from the little boy epicenter, survived the initial explosion but were severely wounded including injuries from and burns across much of their body. Among these people, panic and chaos were rampant as they struggled to find food and water, medical assistance, friends and relatives, and to flee the firestorms and engulfed many residential areas. Having no point of reference for the bomb's absolute devastation, some survivors believed themselves to have been transported to a hellish version of the afterlife. The worlds of the living and the dead seemed to converge. A boy in fifth grade. I had the feeling that all the human beings on the face of the earth had been killed off and only the five of us, his family, were left behind in an uncanny world of the dead. A 14-year-old boy, 
Night came and I could hear many voices crying and groaning with pain and begging for water. Someone cried, "Damn it! War tortures so many people who are innocent." Another said, "I hurt. Give me water." This person was so burned that we couldn't tell if it was a man or a woman. The sky was red with flames. It was burning as if scorching heaven. Yes, it was and shall remain as one of the worst instances where humans used their intellect and might to destroy an area of his own camaraderie. Rest in peace comrades. This shall never be repeated.